On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be using the mag of holding on two weapons that have the potential to be some of the best boss killers in the game. Starting with the SPX-80 that deals massive damage, and the ISO Hemlock that has a special attachment that might just put it over the edge. Let's go test them out. Now my thoughts here on the SPX-80 just to start us off here is I really hope that it can live up to the damage of the XRK Stalker because that thing is insane. That's the weapon I use to take out the Warlord in basically one shot, you know, before they nerfed that whole method of taking the Warlord out so fast, but it was still an insane weapon for taking out any kind of bosses. And while I was looking through the weapon suggestions, I saw that one of you said that this has a potential to live up to the pre-nerf tier in terms of damage. So I'm really excited to see how this does. And for our ISO Hemlock here, the secret sauce is the incendiary rounds. Now, a little birdie told me, and by a little birdie, I mean I was scrolling through Reddit and I saw this video by JE6100 of them using the ISO Hemlock with incendiary rounds, and they were doing some incredible stuff with it. And the thing that really caught my eye with it was in that video, they were able to take down a Mega Abomination with no upgrades on their gun. So no pack a punch and no Aether tool. So I wanna see if I can do the same. He's shooting his laser right away. I'm going to just start unloading on him and we're actually dealing damage. You can see I don't have any upgrades at all on my weapon or even on my character. All I have is my golden armor plates, which don't increase damage at all. And we have stamina. And we're actually dealing some nice damage to this abomination. So, so far, this thing is as advertised. This is disgusting. Okay, go ahead and yell. Let me get some extra damage in on you. How's it doing against these hellhounds? Hold on, let me reload. Hellhounds, how you liking it? They are taking the damage way better than this abomination is. And I am almost completely out of ammo. Okay, now I am. And why is everything silent? Why does this keep happening to me? Why do I get all these weird bugs while it's all silent? The whole road is caving in. My game's always got something wrong with it. But I just want to point out that we got this thing to half health. No upgrades. No nothing. I'm about to just use a thermite on this guy. Did you drop any ammo for me? Oh, we did. Sick. Give me that. Now abomination. Open up for me. Let me deal some damage to you. He's actually so close to dying. There you go. Shoot that laser. Let me get in there. Don't you knock me. We don't need that. You can kill your zombie friends though. If they want to drop me some more ammo. That'd be cool. Oh, I actually get the incendiary damage on these zombies just by meleeing them. And if you guys have been around the channel for a bit, you might have seen the video I did early in season one where we went and tested out different ammo types in zombies to see if they did anything. And through my testing, they really didn't. So it, it, this is like a, an outlier here of the incendiary ammo actually being able to do something on this ISO hemlock. And these zombies are not dropping ammo. So let's just try to melee them since we're still getting the incendiary damage. Look, it's still popping up. We can almost melee him to death. This is crazy. Fighting abomination with no ammo and an unupgraded weapon. And he's about to go down for it. Let's go. Woo. Oh, and he got us a pack crystal. Very nice for him. Very kind. And I really wanted to try this method out with this gun. So I only brought in a rare Aether tool for this because it already seems like it does massive damage without even trying. But now that we've taken out that abomination, I'm going to go ahead and throw that Aether tool on there. I'll get this thing to pack one. And we can also bring on our SPX here. We got to show it some love. Let's go ahead and throw the legendary Aether tool on it. And let's pop our mag of holding. But before we dive headfirst into tier three, even though we can take out mega bombs with this gun, I want to test this out against some tier two HVTs. Same with our sniper here. We don't want to leave this guy behind. Give me that bounty. And who are we going up against? Oh, a mangler. All right, SPX, it's your time to shine, buddy. What can we do? Broke his helmet in the first shot. Second shot, how much damage is that? Can I see your health bar, please? Oh, he's half health and he's dead. Nice. I'm glad that he didn't even notice we were even here. So these things can definitely dish out some damage. One thing I'm kind of scared of, though, is that I brought in two boss killers. And if we can't take out hordes of zombies reliably, we're going to be in trouble, not only for tier three, but into the Dark Aether. So I want to make sure we're as stacked as possible before we head in there. I want to make sure I can get all my perks and that both my weapons can be pack three. Now, can we do the same thing we do to the Abomination of this Mangler using our ISO? He's still catching fire. Manglers are weak to the fire. Not doing a whole lot through his armor, but now that we're we're hitting him in the mouth, he's taking some damage. Wait, does he take damage over time still with this? No, it doesn't look like we're igniting him, but he is just eating this. Night, night, pal. See you later. Ooh, and Shatter Blast? You know what? Give me that. I will take that right away. Because I'm already scared about this handling hordes. 
Shatter Blast could solve our problems. I guess these zombies, it does look like they take fire damage over time though. Like they actually get fully ignited in flames and the hit markers go off like they're walking through a hellhound's flame. But the zombies take the damage so much better than any bosses do so far. And let's give this a trial run on some hordes of zombies. Doing an outlast inside of a stronghold should give us a good amount to work with here. There we go, cleared it out. And I don't even think the zombies know we're here. This game is fucked. Oh, wait, now they figured it out. They know, they're fully aware. Mangler, I need you to die. Thank you. Zombies, you can follow suit. Ooh, Mimic. We need you to go. One shot at the Mimic. Nasty, dude. And Mago Holding doesn't have the craziest effect on the Sniper. But not having to stop to reload is nice. Like, we still have to bolt it back and everything, which sucks for, like, trying to use Aether Shroud. But with the fast bolt, it's not that big of a deal. We are just cleaning these guys. What about you, Disciple? How you liking this? Gone. Sleep. Oh, and we finished it. Okay, so we can handle hordes a little bit. What you got in here for me? A whole lot of nothing, it looks like. Oh, and some napalm burst. Whatever, I'll throw it on here. Let the sniper feel like it's got incendiary rounds. Let me just clean up a few more bounties, and then we're good to go to tier three. Ooh, one shot the mask off. Two shot kill. The sniper is deadly. Actually, you know what? If we can take down that disciple that easy, let's go see how we can do against the storm car. We don't even got pack three right now. Let's just go fuck him up. Let's go disrespect him. We'll get the rest of our money from selling his skull. Where you at, buddy? Oh, I think I can see him. Let's light him up with this. Can we do anything with this? You taking the bait? Nope. Maybe not. But while he's standing still, what if we just shoot him with this? Oh, he's eating damage. You like that? Yeah, come fly over here. Let's have a let's have a conversation. Aether Shroud. Talk to nothing. Throw a quick decoy. Keep lighting him up. Dude, this sniper's gross. He's already dead. See you later, pal. I even have a gas mask. We just ate the storm damage and killed them. All right, later, dorks. All right, tier three, here we come. Any contracts over here before we go to pack a punch? Oh, there's a bounty. Let's pick that up. It's God knows when the next time we're gonna get a tier three contract. Give me that and give me an abomination, please. Oh, how kind. Abomination, I'll be right with you. I need to go pack a punch. Uh oh, we already got an abomination right here. We might just have to fight it. Actually, no, we don't. What am I talking about? Fuck them. We can light them up real quick, though for fun just for sport and let's get our sniper packed let's get this packed oh we don't have enough for pack three that's fine we can make it work what's our sniper doing against the abomination though we already lit him up a little bit with our iso our hvt can wait because we're popping domes over here why don't you go ahead and uh try to laser me again see how that'll work for you oh or we can just break your face without even trying there you go oh and he's already dead lele these things are made for killing abominations. Are you kidding me? But there's our big boy. What's going on, dude? How's this doing against you? Any better? Uh, I don't know. It seems to like take a little bit for the damage to actually start piling on. But the unique thing about this is it looks like it still does the same amount of damage whether or not his mouth is open or not. So you don't really have to wait for the prime opportunity to start shooting him. You can just shoot him. Oh, now as he's shooting a laser, we'll snipe him. There's a face gone. Dude, this sniper is just elite for taking out his faces. He's already at half health. Just shoot another laser, pal. See how that works out for you. Another face gone. Your health about to be gone, too. Ooh! It just demolishes their health. This is crazy. Anything good from that? A self revive. I guess I'll take it. We are chock full of them. Oh, I still need to sell this. I completely forgot. Let's go do that. Right after I grab this bounty in here. I'm not going to let this get away from me. I'll happily take that. Another abomination, please. Thank you. Where's he at, though? Says he's supposed to be up here. There he is. There's our guy. What's up, buddy? I'm just hunting down your whole bloodline, and you're making it easier for me. Ooh, he didn't even get a chance to start shooting the laser. He immediately shut his ass up. What a scenic place to kick your ass all the way up here on the mountain with a beautiful view right next to the portal. He picked a, a, a very nice final resting place. Two heads gone. It's like a one shot if he's shooting his laser. Oh, and now he just forgot where he was. Yeah, I probably would too if I was getting my ass kicked this bad. Night, night. Oh, an epic aether tool. I'll throw that on this. And what else do we get? A whole lot of nothing. Mangler, do you really want this? You just saw what I did to that guy? And you really want to come in here acting like you can take me out? 
little bitch. All right, we need to make some pit stops. Let's go get this thing a pack three and let's pick up a durable gas mask because we do not have any kind of gas mask. Let's go hunt down these bounties. I want to see what this thing can do now that it's pack three and epic tier. Now nah, give me a three P on abominations. Yes, sir. It seems like you either get only abominations or you get everything else. Oh, and we got two of them. Double trouble. All right, monkey bomb. Distract the rest. Let's take this guy's brains out. We use sniper on one, hemlock on the other. Actually, you guys can both get either one that you want. It's up to you. We'll light them up. And did you already forget where you were? Awesome. Where are you heading to? Where are you going? There you go. Bro's got dementia. Oh, and he got healed too somehow. What? Oh, disciple, you bitch. Get out of here. Yeah, let your other abomination friend laser you back down to the health I had you at. Another disciple. Stop. Go away. Stop healing my shit. It's weird. I felt like I was doing more damage unpack a punched. Or maybe it's the same damage. Ooh, either way, we're out of ammo. So uh, let's go refill. Shall we? Oh, wait. Now his health is completely tanked. It's so weird. It's like he can only lose health off screen. Whenever I'm away from him, he loses health. There we go. Maybe we just need to be a little bit closer because now we're draining him. We're milking him. Jerking his jimmy till the juice comes out. Please send me to the psych ward. He's so close to being dead. Let's just finish him off. So we kill him and it'll kill everybody else over here. Oh wait, maybe we should take out this abomination first then. So we don't lose all the loot from him. There we go. You just kill them on demand, basically. One more shot should do it. Oh wow. That's our first down of the day. And it's us just completely ignoring every zombie around us. There we go. Dead. Now we focus on him. I killed that guy to make a point. Now you're done. This is sick, dude. Absolutely frying these bosses. Well, so far it's held up in tier three. Let's see if we can do the same over in the dark aether. All right, let's do this. I'm going straight for the bounty. We'll see what these things are really made of. Let's just hope we don't get destroyed while trying to kill them. Uh, another abomination. Keep up the streak. Yep. How's our hemlock doing against some dark aether zombies? Um, not the greatest. Not amazing. I can take care of them, but when there's a lot of them, you're probably better off just running. And I'm kind of tempted just to use the sniper against this guy, but we'll light him up as much as we can. A little aether shroud. Not doing a whole lot of damage. Okay, maybe this one's immune. Let's snipe his mouth out. There we go. Already took one out. Let's not go... Okay, maybe let's go down. That was part of the plan, actually. I wanted to go down. Maybe if we throw a decoy, have all the zombies fuck off for a minute. Now we'll see where this guy's at. Okay, now we're starting to dish out some ammo. We must have been just shooting him in the back or something. There we go. Or if we shoot directly into his lasers. And he can take out some zombies for us, too. I think I'm still liking the sniper better for this. This with Shatter Blast 2 would be really nice for trying to take these zombies out. Ooh. He's trying to combo me. There you go. Shoot a laser. Another mouth gone. And you should be dead right here. Come on. Just open up for me. Go ahead. Stop trying to bite me. You're doing the wrong kind of opening up. Just look at me. Smile pretty. There you go. Oh, and he dropped a jug. Very kind of him. And all these zombies about to get collated to death. Actually, let's just shatter blast them. They all just stop moving when I switch weapons. They're waiting to see greatness. Oh, they're all just not moving at all. Okay. Give me that mackle holding. Beautiful. And, um, I'll take a jug. Fuck it. No, I won't actually. Don't need it. I was tempted. Now on to our outlast. It's going to be our real test to see if we can actually survive against some hordes. Let's start her up. Oh, got an Aether Shroud. Not Hera Health. Holy shit. I, I like this Hemlock, and I like that the Incendiary Rounds actually do something. The little flame around the body reminds me of Cold War's Combat Bow. But it does not do Cold War Combat Bow damage, let me tell you. At least not against normal zombies. I have to use a Sniper for that. Oh, fuck me. Made it to 40%, though. Uh, maybe we should try to train a little bit more or throw a decoy or something. Like, do any sort of survival tactic. Ooh, 85%. Gonna dip out. Come back in. <sighs> These zombies are too fast. Way too fast. And they are beating my ass. Have a thermite, why don't you? 
There we go. Finish the contract. Give me my reward. Well, I don't want this bullshit. Oh, but there's Shatter Blast. I've been looking for that. On to the last one. So far, these kind of exceeded my expectations. Not in terms of, like, taking out bosses with their damage. But we've been doing pretty all right with handling ourselves against these hordes. I thought it'd be way worse. But now we can just sit back, relax, and let the Cashmere's do the work here. And unless we go down. Nope, we're too good to go down. That's one rocket done. That's two rockets. All three rockets are now complete with cashmere's to spare. What do we get for that? Armor plates, that's nice. All right, goodbye, Dark Aether and all who inhabit it. We're gone. So overall thoughts on these guns, I think they really do live up to being the boss killers that they are. Honestly, with the ISO Hemlock and its incendiary rounds, it being able to kill anything unpack a punch and unupgraded, especially like a Mega Abomination is insane, but it felt like as I was pack-a-punching it and upgrading it, the damage didn't really go up with it, so it just sticks at the same amount of damage. I don't think that's actually true, but it didn't really feel like it got better and better as we pack a punched it. It might have gotten better at taking out zombies, but elites, it felt like it stayed the same. Like it was it was weird how inconsistent it was. Sometimes it felt like it was shredding those elites in those like mega abominations, and other times it just felt like it wasn't really doing a whole lot of damage. But as for the SPX 80, that thing was destroying anything in its path. If it had armor, it would take one shot to break the armor off, and the next shot would insta kill it. Just on almost anything. Mimics in tier three were going down, insta kill. Manglers were a two shot. Disciples were a two shot. And all those mega abominations, basically all their heads were one shots, even on the HVTs. And that didn't need any incinerary ammo to do it. It's just like a monster. So it definitely does live up to the XRK stalker. So we can have two really nice, boss killing snipers within that class but i think that about wraps it up i'm gonna go ahead and end it here thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later